Hi guys, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Uh, today we're going to be building the Ellie kit TU H82. If you want to see the unboxing of said kit, then check out the other video. Um, so opened up the box. Here we have everything. Not a lot to it, um, truth to be told. Uh, no soldering is required. If I can show you this board here, you can see how discreet these components are. I mean, they've got surface mount resistors. I mean, they'd be a nightmare to do. Um, there's some chips in there as well, all very small, discreet stuff. Yeah, and there we go. I mean, it would be a, a bit of a str struggle to solder this one up. Um, so we just put mechanics of it together. This one has a valve input, uh, a 12AU7. They provide the electroharmonic, and then it uses a class D amplifier, and it kicks out about um, 8.2 watts into a six ohm load, so plenty for a computer. So what it's suggesting here, on the first page of these Japanese forward slash English instructions is just to go through all the components. So let's do that. Let's lay them all out. So you've got your PCB unit and then you've got a lot of hardware. Let's get in here. Front panel. See the, uh, the screen print is pretty good on these. Interesting thing with any kit is they do use a lot of stickers for their kits, which I don't really like stickers. I'd rather see a bit of um, screen print. So volume there, then you, that's your front panel. Then you've got your rear panel, which is amazing. Look, really good screen print there, the logo. And then you've got your box there. You've got your knob there. You've got feet. Oh, the feet are here. So the feet there, the other side of the knob. And you've got partition panel there. And then you have all the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 11, they've given you a spare. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, oh, 12, 13. They're giving you a few spares there. That's cool. And then you've got the power supply. So they've given you a figure of eight Japanese cord. Uh, alas, we need a UK. So you could actually cut this off and put your own plug on if you wanted to. Um, but just be aware, they do give it the Japanese plug. So there's your power supply, switch mode, power supply, giving 12 volts. And then you've got your speaker terminals, which are there, all good. So first things first, we are dealing with the rear panel. And our speakers, speaker posts. They do provide a two mil Allen key, which is there. I'm not sure why, but we'll find out later. Well, I know why, because there's screws there. So, those. so there's a front panel. So the, these have obviously holes for a four mil banana, but you can come through the side with uh, bare wire. So always locate them. I kind of do, do an angle like that, 45 degree angle, because you basically would come from the side like this so you could see it. Rather than like that, you have to come from this side. So I always angle at about 45 degrees. These are great posts, these. Um, in fact, they're reminiscent of the, an audio note, slimline uh, speaker post that you can't actually get anymore. So I'm just doing it tight with, with my hand to begin with. And I'll pop the other ones in. <clears throat> so I'm actually gonna use a spanner to tighten these. All right, all good. So you can see they're all easy, accessible. Side openings, tighten them up. 
that stand. It does say here on the diagram to keep them to the side. It's, it's up to you. Um, so now we're going to get the PCB unit like this. Lines up there. It's cool. And then we use one of the hex. Cool, so that's that done. So this piece comes off, snap it off there, and then you can see the scraggly end goes there, like that. Do one loosely, tightly, tightly. Pop the valve in. It's going to be over before you know it, this. So with the valve, you've got your nine pins. With your valve base, you've got your nine pins. So you can see there's a gap there and there. Line them up, just push. So that's in position. Pop the divider on. So it can only go one way because the whole Goes over the valve like that. You see? Is that good? If you do one end too tightly, you might not align the other end. So always do one loose and then get the other one in and then do that tight and tight and go back to the original. Cool, it's done. And then this, power supply to that end. That up. Go back to the first, tighten that one up. Cool. And then we've got the front panel for the volume. It's only one way it can go. Four screws. So if you ever needed to change the valve, you'd have to take it apart again. So always a good idea to keep your instructions. And then I think we're nearly finished. So power off, it's pointing to power off there. Okay. Power off, so it's obviously on, off and volume. All in one. Right, put the feet on the bottom. Complete. Cool, huh? Should we turn her on? I mean, I'm looking through the instructions and Gives you an idea of how to wire it up, turn it on, you'll hear a click, and you're ready to rock and roll. So let's try her out, shall we? Are you filming? So this is with um, uh, RCA inputs.
right, let's try another input. Just before I sign off, I want to say a big thank you for watching our videos. Like and subscribe and follow us on all the social network platforms. See you later.